Today we are facing off Shamiko Jordan versus LeCurry in six different competitions to see who is better. Shamike comes in at 7'1 with 58 badges and is a 99 overall, and Shaq and Jordan combined looks kind of normal. LeCurry on the other hand comes in at 6'9, has 59 badges, and is a 99 overall. I don't know what happened when we combined Steph and LeBron together, but LeCurry is cursed. I don't know why he's this sweaty. First competition is going to be a three-point contest. Jamike is going first here. He starts off with this money ball rack on the first rack. A very interesting strategy. That must have been Shaq's idea, but it paid off because he got six points on the first rack, but it was all downhill from here. Looks like Shamike got Shaq's three-point ability with how many bricks they were putting up in this competition. But then again, Jordan has the worst three-point contest performance in NBA history, only hitting five shots. But in the end, Shamike ended with 13 points. Moving on to LeCurry, the clear favorite here. He started off very poorly. It must have been tough getting a good grip on the ball with how sweaty he was. And going into the final rack, LeCurry only had nine points. They're onto their money ball rack as well. There's one. There's two. They got 13. They have beat Shamike. LeCurry misses the final shot. 17 points for LeCurry. So LeCurry wins competition number one, adding one point to their score. Competition two is the slam dunk contest. We got LeCurry up here first. Every time I look at him, I, I hate it. Let's see what LeCurry's got for the first dunk though. And it's a windmill? He got some height on that though. Normal windmill, but his head actually got over the rim. He is going to get a 37, not a good score. Shamike is up here next and 360 under the legs not easy to do at all especially when you're seven foot one in Shaq's body and that is gonna get him a 47 lecurry on to the second dunk now he needs to pull out something really good if he wants to come back here through the legs i mean it's just not as good as a 360 under the legs and it's a 37 again shamike with a huge lead here gonna give himself the self alley oop okay little one-handed windmill reverse slam this one's pretty good i think it's a little better than lecurry's and they get a 37 as well and after two rounds lecurry's still down by 10 lecurry's got to bring something really nice out here for the third round i mean we got lebron in his body and that's all they give us. It gives him a 40. That was his best dunk so far. Now for Shamike to lose here, he has to put up like a 20 or something. I don't know. I don't know math. It's got to be a really bad dunk for him to lose through the legs. That should get him the W. Alley-oop through the legs. Reverse. He also went through the rim. I've never seen that before in a dunk competition where the player's entire head goes through the rim. And that gets him a 40 as well. Shamike ends up winning by 10, but he does add one point to his score and we're all tied up. Competition number three is a race. The rules are simple. Fastest one to run down the full court with a ball gets a point. And LeCurry gets the W here with a time of 4.5 seconds, now giving him a one point lead. Competition number four is who can hit a layup free throw, three pointer, and half court shot first. I'll just be going back and forth between the two players. We got LeCurry here first. Layup slash dunk will be pretty easy here. There we go. Uh, that's not gonna be hard for either player. Let's give it to Shamike now, get inside, and an easy dunk. So what it's up for the layup slash dunk for both players. But now it gets harder because we gotta hit a free throw, but the tough part is gonna actually be getting fouled. The free throw won't be, be hard in itself. We get fouled here? No. I think just running at the basket. And there we go. We drew a foul with Shamike. So we should be able to hit this on the first try there. And there it is. We got Michael Jordan's free throw shooting. So Shamike is going to be the first one to get the free throw. LeCurry, we just need to get fouled with LeCurry. And then we can get one. No, they don't foul us. Onto the three-pointer with Shamike. I think I'm just going to run the, the pick and fade right here. Get open with Shamike. No, we got to go on the three-point line. I'm just putting that up. Come on. Ah, we break it. Somebody foul LeCurry here. There it is. We got the foul. And we should hit this pretty easy as well. There's a green. And now LeCurry has a free throw. We break the second one, but we only needed one. Open from three. Is that good? No, we break it. For LeCurry, the three-pointer should be pretty easy right there. That's a perfect release. He's just too good at shooting. He can 
get open right there and that's a green as well so both players onto the half court shot here whoever hits it first is going to win this competition here's shamike brick i think just standing still is the best way to hit this these are so off all right you got the shamike there it is oh it's in and out at this point i don't even know if it's possible for these guys to hit one why is it so hard that's it yes yes we finally got the half court shot oh that took like an hour to hit but we got it le curry is going to get the w here and another point it took 95 attempts with le curry and we're on to competition number five which is a 1v1 shamike needs a w here to stay in the contest because le curry is currently up three to one let's see what shamike can do here tough shot he bricks that le curry might have the advantage here with his shooting he steps back puts up a tough shot and he bricks it but gets his own board and a dunk for the first bucket shamike if they if they get in the post i mean they should dominate how do they brick that this is going to 11 points big block there by shamike le curry gets it back and then bricks the shot shamike spinning inside and it's another brick these guys cannot hit anything this is awful basketball mike the reverse and Shamike has his takeover badge after only hitting one shot. Le Curry bricks a shot, gets his own board, bricks another shot. You guys are lucky this is cut down for the video because this is awful to watch in real time. Can Shamike end this soon? Inside, nice little bucket. Le Curry has to hit some threes here or else he's not coming back. Okay, there's a nice dunk. Shamike on game point right here. Le Curry, yeah, you, you just gotta put up those shots otherwise you're not coming back and mike game point for the win no good gets his own rebound and he ends it right there Shamike mike finally getting another point so heading into the final competition le curry has a one point lead but this final competition is worth two points we have a team of shamikes versus a team of le curries in the first quarter things were pretty even between shamike and le curry shamike was unstoppable in the post and le curry was hitting some nice threes and at the end of the first things were all tied up at 12. Yeah. I just noticed this, but look how small Le Curry's hands are compared to the rest of his body. The second quarter was a bit of the same story. Le Curry and Shamike kept going back and forth scoring, and Shamike was even able to hit a couple threes. Going into halftime, Shamike had a two-point lead. This all changed in the second half, though, because Shamike could not be stopped. He was draining everything he put up, whether it was a three or a post shot. Le Curry had no answer to Shamike's offense. And on defense, Le Curry could not get past Shamike either, bricking every three that he put up, and he was also unable to get inside to score on Shamike. By the end of the third, Shamike managed to get a 24-point lead. In the fourth, things only got worse. The only way Le Curry was able to score all game was when Shamike fouled him on the three-point line, which actually happened quite a few times. But in the end, Shamike won the game by 32 points, with Le Curry shooting three for 26 from three. With that win, Shamike gains two points and defeats Le Curry four to three and moves on to face the winner of Stianis and Le Kobe. If you want to see more of Shamike or Le Curry, click one of these two videos right here, but I'll see you next time. Peace.